Welcome to the 2022 World Bog Snorkeling Championships. In my quest to find some weird and wacky events out there, here I am at the Bog Snorkeling World Championships in the middle of Wales. As you can hear, the event is kicking off behind me. Arguably, it is the only Bog Snorkeling Championships out there, so it's almost self-promoted to the World Championships. But it's gonna be a great blast. There's loads of people here. It's apparently in its 40th year. The only rules for this event are that you have to wear a snorkel, you have to wear a mask and goggles, you have to keep your head in the water and you can wear fins and probably don't drink the water. So, let's get ready. Oh yeah. This unique event takes place in a muddy, peaty bog on the outskirts of Clanrid Wells in Mid Wales. Like all great challenges, the idea for this fine event was conceived in one of the town's local pubs and now attracts over 150 bog snorkeling specialists from all around the world. The chosen bog, Winerid Bog, is supposedly home to a number of species and creatures, so much so it's actually a protected site, but the annual bog snorkeling apparently helps with pollination, amongst other good things. So you can get a nice dip in some peaty water and help nature. What's not to like about that? I'm all registered. I'm not actually on for a while. I'm number 91 and we're only on like number 40 at the moment. I'm in bog number one. We've got two bogs here, but I'm in number one. And I'm just taking this time to, well, take it all in really and uh, well, get a few tips on the technique that I need because actually you're not allowed to do a recognized swim stroke here. So there's no front crawl, breaststroke or anything going on. Some people are just doing kick with their arms by their side. Some are doing doggy paddle. I think I'm probably going to go for doggy paddle, but you've got to keep your head in the water. And we've got to do 60 yards, hit a pole, and then 60 yards back, hit another pole. There is a world record, one minute and 18 seconds, uh, set by Neil Rutter. Do I go for it? I, I kind of just want to have some fun and embrace the, the Hawaiian outfit, but I'm quite competitive, aren't I? Of course, you may have noticed that fancy dress is also a big part of the event. So, let's go and chat to some of my fellow bog snorkelers. We're from Bristol. When we turned up, we looked at it and thought, easy, it's not very far at all. But then I was a halfling. <laughs> actually, it's a really long way and it's really hard work. Uh, we did it uh, 12 years ago for a stag do. Uh, we were meant to come ten, uh, for the 10 year anniversary two years ago and it's been cancelled for the COVID. So, uh, here we are now. 12th anniversary. I did a banana man costume and uh, anything with foam is a really bad idea for uh, bog snorkeling. So uh, that was my inspiration for my costume. No foam. Yeah. I thought cheap. Last time it was really cold here. So I went for something that would be nice and warm, which is a bad idea today. Uh, no, I came in 2019, just before the, the lockdown and the cancellation. Uh, I wanted to come back in a better costume. Uh, I don't really want to swallow the water, but um, kind of just clamp on that snorkel like your life depends on it, and you go. Uh, we're here to become world champion box snorkel. Yes. <laughs> well, maybe not us, but we have a friend who's very sporty, so we're here to cheer him, and He's we're going to go for it ourselves. Over there. He's, He's warming up as we speak. Yeah. We're very well prepared. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
You feeling ready? Uh-huh. <laughs> Three, two, one. at the moment is 1.35 so yeah this could be the fastest time of the day so far 1.32.69 you're currently the fastest snorkeler of the day just wallow in that for as long as you can that's wonderful 1.32 excellent time well done mark all right bog snorkeling world champs done complete had an absolute blast really good fun meeting everyone here Big question you're probably asking though, how did I get on? Well, I'm actually currently in pole position with a time of 1.31. Although I think that's probably gonna get beaten quite soon. There's still a few more people to come, including Neil Rutter, who is the reigning world champion and record holder. Um, so I'm a little bit off his record time, so I'm pretty sure he's gonna comfortably beat mine. Um, now I opted for the doggy paddle drill kind of stroke uh, I think that was fairly good although I've seen a lot of people doing butterfly leg kick maybe I should have done that did make a big mistake I forgot to breathe for about half the first leg <laughs> so I was incredibly out of breath for the rest of uh, rest of the bog snorkeling um, but yeah good fun now to grab a hot dog and uh, watch the other guys finish <laughs> champion who's getting it now yeah. well sadly I am not your box snorkeling world champion this year I tried my hardest uh, no, congratulations to Neil Rutter. He put in a fine performance, a 120. Um, yes, he did go for the butterfly leg kick and seems like I could do with some upgrades to my kit. He had some quite long fins on and a wetsuit. He looked very pro. Uh, but no, really good fun. I've had an absolute blast here. Met some amazing people. Such a cool event and in such an amazing location. Do you think I should come back next year? Maybe do those upgrades? Go for a faster time? Let us know in the comment section down below. Or should I? even better maybe get heather and james into this next year do you think we can get heather in this gloopy bog or maybe there's also a bog triathlon maybe that's what we should be doing well let's know in the conversation down below if you enjoyed today's video please do give it a thumbs up give it a like and don't forget to subscribe